Hey yo, gamers, it's Rain Miller and play with more uh, Professor Layton and uh, Miracle Max. We're just gonna get into it because I have to do something at 3. I'm um, gonna try and get some of this done. Maybe get it to chapter 5. We'll see. <laughs> Be quick with this. Okay. Uh -huh. Probably. You know where this matching is? Oh no, puzzle! <laughs> You know what? We're gonna. <laughs> no, 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 this one. No, 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 Shut up! I don't want to talk to you. Do you know anything? Oh no no the puzzle! <laughs> I'm just here for the story, man. Okay, so it's one. There you go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. What? But no, no, no. That's the correct answer, though. A tough nut to crack. I know it's not random. Look. Three. Oh shit, I didn't look at this time. Ten. One. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, two. Don't keep me in suspense. 
What? Come on! Perhaps I need another look. I s no. I'm gonna try it. Okay, so obviously that was five. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ava, I keep getting six! One, two, three, four, five. I keep getting two! One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I keep getting two! Ah, whatever. Dalton's estate should be west of here. Okay. This must be the circus tent that Jekyll's the clown is referring to. Can we go inside, please? Remember, Luke, we're not here to have fun. We're looking for clues that will lead us to the masked gentleman. Oh, yes, of course. It finally feels like a desert out here. Yes, you can see the characteristic ruins of the region out here. Everything out here is quite breathtaking. This area once was where it was such ruins. Hmm. Traces of another civilization. Hmm. Okay. We're interested in seeing both the ruins and the circus very soon, but for now the dolls is just, it's just over that way. Don't move. This puppy should learn some manners. <laughs> oh my god, why does it look like that? <laughs> Leave that young lady alone. Get back here, now! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, so late, and I haven't seen you in ages. What are you doing here? Hello, Dalston. Has been some time. Don't tell me you've moved here, too. No, actually, I'm here on business. You left Stansbury for a successful business career, just as you planned, I see. Of course, that bird couldn't hold me. Besides, Stansbury turned to a ghost town after the mess with the Ascot family. And tourists don't visit ghost towns, which means ghost hotels don't make any ghost money. Or real money, either. Yes, I've heard you've become quite the entrepreneur. I can recall that your dream was able to own your own hotels. Yeah, and I recall you having more hair. Enough small talk late. <laughs> Damn. What kind of business are you here on? I'm investigating the recent events following the masked gentleman. Who put you up to this, Angela? Let me guess, you're here to see if I'm suspicious at all, right? Rubbish. What do I have to gain from that maniac terrorizing the town? It causes bad for business, everyone's business. Well, there are rumors about a power struggle taking place in Montador. If one wanted to hurt an opponent, one might be willing to make a sacrifice or two, no? Hypothetically speaking, why does the masked gentleman send advanced warnings to of his actions to both you and Henry? Surely many other business owners in town would have such information useful. It certainly seems that there is some sort of connection between two of you and the masked gentleman, Dalston. Ha ha, naive as ever later. But it was connected to that masked tree bit, Angela. I beg your pardon? Look, Leighton, this is real life, not chess. I'm not interested in a sacrifice or two. You know perfectly well that Angela blamed Henry for Randolph's untimely end. Henry encouraged that last expedition. Oh! So why why would she? So she's uh, she's in on it because why would she, then, why, then why would if that is true why would she marry Henry? For what? Why would she marry Henry then? If she like. Why would you marry 
the person who you blame for the death of your boyfriend. Why? Why would you do that? Unless you have ulterior motives. So now, years later, Angela and Henry are married. You know the saying, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Angela holding a grudge against Henry after all these years. Come on, Dawson, that seems highly unlikely. Some people hold a grudge that long and they be like, now it's my chance to strike. But ciao. And as likely as me sacrificing anything I worked for. First of, first off, Angela would never show Henry how much she resents him. Wow, well, bro. You know what, girl? You know what? Go, girl. Go, girl. I'm all for women's wrongs. Well, if it's against men, who does? Who maybe deserve it? Who deserve it? Who deserve it? So, like, if if Angela, you know what? Go, go on, Psy Queen, Psy Queen. I'm all here for hurting men. <laughs> men that deserve it. If men, if if a man deserves what's coming to him. And I, by all means, encourage it from a woman. It just, it just feels even better. <laughs> Angela hid her resentment when she buried Randall, and she's been plotting her adventure ever since. Don't fall for her nice girl. <laughs> Angela never even let you forgive yourself for Randall's death. She drove you straight out to Stansbury. Come on, Leighton. I wouldn't say that. That's fine, because I would. Open your eyes, Leighton. Henry loved Angela, and you couldn't stand seeing her with Randall. So he sent Randall on the expedition to those rumors, knowing how dangerous it was. That's ridiculous, Dalston, and rather offensive, I might add. How is it? And how come Henry kept the secret code of the Nowhere Wall to himself? I'll tell you why, so he can get the treasure. Oh, oh, is he reacting? Oh no, that's just him being idle. <laughs> I, thought he was, I thought Luke was reacting. That treasure should have been Randall's. Yeah, should have. I don't know, I just- Randall seems like a nice guy. Plus, his voice is by Yuri. So, like, of course I'm gonna like him. Plus, he has a lesbian color, so he was a lesbian. I'm all down for the lesbians. I'm all down for the lesbians. I'm always down. I support all lesbians. I support all of them. <clears throat> Angela was gonna let him get away with that. The whole mass judgment fiasco was all her doing. With one stroke, Angela could ruin Henry, get the treasure, and exact her revenge. Do it, girl! Do it! Do it! I, I encourage that. I encourage it. That's quite the tale, Dustin, but without proof, that is, that's all it is. A tale. I hope I'm there when you finally realize the truth, Layton. Being played like a cheap violin. That ain't no city of miracles, Layton. It's a city of betrayals. A city of betrayals? But there's so many fun things to do. See, Layton. You're seeing this whole thing through the eyes of a child. What's wrong with that? I am a child. It's all right, Luke. Professor, I think we're done speaking with this man. I don't want to hear his nonsense anymore. Oh, this boy has some spirit. You gotta feed your head, you kid. Maybe you all should pay a visit to the mayor. Oh, really? Who is that? Mayor Bilson put together a special task force to investigate the masked gentleman. If you want the truth, I got no problem saying that maybe that they could help you, or vice versa, because I got nothing to hide. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Dawson might have a point here, Professor. Yes, then it seems a visit to the mayor might be in order. What? Uh, Gonzalez? Oh, Mr. Dawson, I got a letter for you! Why do you give him a Spanish accent? <laughs> Cause his name's Gonzalez. <laughs> there are two actually, one for you and the other for Mr. Herschel Layton. For me. We'll give it here. Greetings from the mass gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed last night's festivities. I know I did. It was so Refreshing. You see, people who are made of stone cannot tell lies. In fact, they cannot do much of anything. They can only stand there, cold and unfeeling. To rob people of their ability to tell lies is quite miraculous, don't you think? Almost as miraculous as my follow-up tonight will be. I will be performing in the Gallery Plaza. I promise it will be an uplifting experience you won't want to miss. 
I hope to see you there. A warning from the masked gentleman. Well, I stood before you, no less. How did anyone know we were here? Professor, I think we're being watched. I believe you're right, Emmy. Look, that plaza is going to be teeming with tourists tonight. Someone may get hurt. We still have time before sundown. We need to inform the mayor of this. Shall we be off, Professor? Yes, let's go. The mayor should be down at City Hall. It's just past the Lindor Mansion. He's probably meeting with his task force as we speak. I know he's got some detectives coming in from London, too. Hopefully you'll get there just in time to hear them falsely accuse me of being the masked gentleman. Ha ha. Maybe we will. <laughs> Come now, Luke. Let's head to City Hall. Thank you, Dawson. That was informative. <laughs> mm hmm Pass the Lindor estate. City Hall must be down this way. I think this is quite a marvelous building. Let's see if the mayor's task force is inside. City Hall would be this big. Monte Dog continues to impress. It appears the entire police department's here. I hope that's not the case. They do have a police station outside of town. It looks like they're taking the recent events very seriously. Yes, it appears the nice gentleman is receiving the attention he craves. We didn't see many officers after the stone statue incident, so I think it's safe to say that the police aren't getting any advance warnings. I can understand if the villain has a grudge against the town, but targeting innocent people isn't just isn't right. I agree, Luke. We need to get to the bottom of things as quickly as possible. Yo, I hear you say all. Is the mayor in? We'd like to speak with him we're going to the task force here that's assembled to investigate the masked gentleman. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you need the mayor's proof to talk to a task force. To get to the proof, you need to see the mayor. <laughs> damn, damn, if. if <laughs> loophole, damn, these loopholes are sadly too real. Which is what you just asked to do. I'll go see if he's available. <laughs> I'm excited to meet the mayor. Managing a telegram to do must be a big responsibility. Like, maybe I'll be a mayor when I grow up. How does Mayor Luke Triton sound? Oh my, just like your father. Oh, a puzzle! Yeah, like this! Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. It's three by three. Shit. So obviously I have to start at the top. Wait, shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. Let's do that. Wait, restart. Okay. okay. Oh god, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I need to do this. I think I do this. Then you gotta, where is it? From the third to the bottom. Then you gotta do this. Yeah, okay. Shit, okay, that's good. Ah, shit, dogs. 
Okay, so first of all, looks like I have to put this here. Okay, looks like- okay, looks like we have to do the bottom, so... Right. So, get that there. Okay, the black solved. Sh okay. So, just go in reverse order. Okay. It can go like that. Ah, shit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm starting to get it. 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 Okay. I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. So, you can ignore the top. Okay, so we need the top. So, we'll start from the down. Okay, then we'll do the this, I think. Wait, what was first? Which is the third from the top. Shit, no, wait. It's... No, wait, and then you gotta do... And just enough to cover up everything. Yeah! <laughs> I believe I have this one. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. Truly a pleasure. Oh, this is Bilson, okay. Why his nose like that? Twenty-five <laughs> You need twenty-five puzzles, okay, I'll be right back. I'll solve like seven more, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I find I solved all the puzzles. I I I solved puzzles. Everyone have the task force must for at least 25 puzzles. I see you are officially qualified. Welcome to the task force. To be perfectly frank, our investigation has been rather bumpy. Detectives from London and our local chief policemen aren't getting along at all. That's unfortunate. I requested a citizen from London by an error of her text name for this very capable. The last four strategy meeting is about to begin. I hope some progress will be made. Please join the meeting if you like. Sounds like fighting has already begun. I would be grateful for anything you could be used to fight this situation. The fact is for blooded. I wonder. We said to the briefing, we're back in there. Thank you for your help, Mayor Bil Bilson. Oh, Gro Grosky? Yeah, Grosky. <laughs> Poke. <laughs> Don't you sneak up on me like that! Who let a child in here? No child, I'm Luke Triton, apprentice to Professor Layton. Oh. Ah, of course. Inspector Grosky. We should have known it was you. How did you get in here with all the competent police officers? <laughs> Emmy, how rude. If you're not careful, you might end up hurting my feelings. <laughs> She's not <laughs> She's... <laughs> Guess I'll have to turn to my arrest record at Scotland Yard to cheer me up. <laughs> and how many of those arrests came with the professor's help? 
about half? <laughs> yeah, I suppose that sounds about right. Good to see you too, Emmy. Professor Layton, I presume. Detective Inspector Leonard Bloom, senior detective at Scotland Yard. That's quite the title. Herschel Layton, how do you do? Wow, this must be a really big deal to dispatch two of Scotland Yard's finest. I guess so. I wonder how the local police feel about bringing in external help. How did all these people get into my briefing room? Who are these civilians? Where's my tea? <laughs> Chief Sheffield, may I introduce Professor Herschel Layton? Scotland Yard has solved many difficult cases with his assistance. I assure you, any help he can offer will be invaluable to us. All right, then. Just make sure he doesn't get in the way. Now, if we're done with the pleasantries, I'd like to get on with solving this case. I'm in the briefing room. Let's not drag this out any longer than we need to. Grab a seat and sit in it. <laughs> Bloom, the floor's all yours. <clears throat> Please, if you would give me your attention, then perhaps I could help you apprehend the masked gentleman. Since you have proven yourselves to be astoundingly ineffective thus far, we've brought in some extra brain power to expose the truth behind these dark miracles. He's so tiny. <clears throat> <clears throat> Why does it look like Jimmy Neutron's dead? <laughs> Jimbo! <laughs> Why does it look like Jimbo? <laughs> carefully. Yeah, it's like a trick. Yeah, it's a trick. I don't think there's actual magic. I just think it's like a magic trick. It's like trick of the eye. Why could why couldn't the witnesses have seen the The witnesses ran away? <laughs> um. 
Clear our eyes from. <laughs> what? Really? Okay, nearby alleyways right here. Hmm. Okay, that's not it.
Wow. I think I'm gonna end the video here today. I'm just feeling some type of way. I'm just like, <sighs> I'm just feeling some like something. And I'm just, oh my god, I'm just... something. I just, <sighs> I'm gonna end it here. So for the short videos, it's just brain said, then body said, no. So that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> so. <laughs> See you later, space on gamers. Bye. <laughs> Hopefully, I feel better.